this class we work out one problem on symmetrical fault calculation using Thevenin's theorem. This is the given network. This network consists of two generators, three bus bars. Generator 1 rating is 15 MBA 11 KV, subtraction reactance is J.06. Generator 2 is 15 MBA 11 KV, subtraction reactance is J.06. These are all the branch reactances. All are in per unit with the base MBA of 15. The question is, if a fault occurs at bus 3, calculate the per unit fault current and actual fault current. That is the question. First step, I have to draw the reactance diagram. This is a generated reactance J.06. This is J.06. This is J.8, J.5, J.3. If a fault occurs at bus 3, I have to calculate the total reactance fall to point up to the neutral point. Now, this is a delta. I can convert into star. So, this is J.08. This is bus number 1, 2, 3. Z12 is equal to J.8. Z23 is equal to J.5. Z13 is equal to J.3. Now, we have to calculate Z1, Z2, Z3. This is a neutral point. Z1 is equal to J.8 into J.3 divided by J.8 plus J.3 plus J.5 that is equal to J.15 Similarly, Z2 is equal to J.8 into J.5 divided by J.8 plus J.3 plus J.5 that is equal to J.25 Z3 is equal to J.3 into J.5 divided by J.8 plus J.3 plus J.5 that is equal to J.09 now, I will redraw the circuit like this. This is bus number 1, 2, 3. This is a J.15. This is J.25. This is J.09. Now, I can easily calculate the total reactance bus number 3 to neutral point. Again, I redraw the circuit like this. Here, these two are in series. These two are in series. J.15 plus J.06. That is equal to J.21. J.25 plus J.06 that is equal to J.31 this is J.09 this value is J.03 is equal to J.09 now these two are in parallel J.21 into J.31 divided by J.21 plus J.31 that is equal to J.125 this is J.09 now these two are in series J.125 plus J.09 that is the X Thevenin's that is equal to J.215 Now the Thevenin's voltage is that is pre fault voltage is 1 and 0 I can easily calculate the per unit fault current IF is equal to E Thevenin's divided by X Thevenin's 1 and 0 divided by J.215 that is equal to 4.65 angle minus 90 degree in per unit Next, I can calculate the actual current. Actual current is equal to 15 MEA divided by root 3 into 11 into 1000. 15 by root 3 into 11 into 1000. That is equal to 787.30 amps. Once I know the per unit current and the actual current, I can easily calculate the actual fault current. Actual fault current IF is equal to fault current in per unit into actual current IF into IA. 4.65 into 787.30. Actual fault current is 3660.95 amps. Thanks for listening.